Hi everybody, it's Leslie. I hope you're all enjoying this beautiful Saturday fall afternoon and I am here to share with you um, a few things that I got done while I was on my fall break. I had the privilege of watching my two granddaughters, uh, one of whom is four and a half years old and the light of my life. So what do you do with a four and a half year old for two weeks? Well, this is what you do. You make a homemade jelly plate. This jelly plate kept her busy and me for hours on end. This thing is fabulous. Anyway, this is my homemade jelly plate. I got the uh, recipe for this from the Frugal Crafter and Pink Poodle Crafts. And I will put links to both of their channels uh, in the description below. And the recipe was so easy. It was three cups of hot water, three cups of glycerin, and 14 packets of gelatin. And all I did was dissolve the gelatin and the glycerin, and then I added the boiling water, stirred it up, poured it into a 9 by 13 pan or whatever size this is, um, and let it sit. Now, it was a little too thick for me and for my liking, and my granddaughter, in her exuberance to use this, used the brayer on it pretty hard and actually tore it. So I cut it up and melted it down in the microwave and decided to re-pour it, which I did. And I actually took a cup out of it and put it in here. And now I have a smaller jelly plate to match my bigger jelly plate. And this is great for index cards. That way I don't have to get my whole jelly plate all um, dirty. And by the way, you know what? The easiest way I found to clean the jelly plate is to um, use hand sanitizer. And I always have a lot of that around. Um, it goes everywhere with me. So I have a great big old honking thing of it down in the kitchen. Um, so that's that. And you know what? This is not molded. I've had a lot of people ask me, aren't you afraid it's going to mold? No. With this recipe, it has not molded. This, this jelly plate is about three weeks old. I have used the crap out of this thing. And it has not molded, and it is good to go. Um, I uh, I store it in the uh, container that you know I molded it in. But when I'm using it, this is um, a Cricut craft mat that is um, kind of lost its sticky. I mean, it's a little tacky, which is great because when you put it down and you're rolling, you know, your paint on here, this puppy really isn't going anywhere. So it's a great use of your old craft mats. But I just wanted to share with you also some of the um, prints we did with this. And I just want to start out by saying, you know what? Sometimes it really takes the mind of a child to really um, let you or force, not force you, but to really show you um, how to just let your inhibitions go. And to just not care. Throw your cares to the wind. Um, and I want to share with you two pages that Chloe did. I mean, really? This is done by a four-year-old. Who, of course, put her handprints on it for me. So Grandma knows who did it. <laughs> but, I mean, I sent her home. I'm not kidding. I sent her home with probably 40 pages of creations that she did on here. I mean... Look at that. This is going in my in my journal that I'm making. This is just itching for some doodling on it. I mean, this is awesome. But I just want to share with you a couple of pages that I did um, on my on this jelly plate. I mean, I just think these turned out so cool. Look at that. It's awesome. And then I love this one. Um, this 
was a brick pattern uh, stencil, and then I stenciled over it the flowers and the leaves, and the, and then moved the stencil so I could create a shadow, and then stenciled create. I just think that is beautiful, and that is going in my journal. This is where you know I had used black, cream, gray, and laid. Um, I think it's a print. This is a Prima stencil, and laid it down on top of there. And then I took the stencil and slapped it on on this. And then I had my own homemade stencil that I made. So I put the vase on there using a stencil. And then I had a Prima Crackle stencil that I laid then on top of there and used two different colors, a lighter green and then like a silver. Well, it's gray because I don't really have a, I've got a very smidgen small smidgen of silver paint. So I didn't want to waste it on something that I was trying out. And it turned out so beautiful that this is going on my book and I'm going to put flowers, paper flowers in and around here. And that's going to go in my journal as well. I mean, but just look, these are just waiting for doodling and, and more yumminess to go on them. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. I and mean, look at that. Just, I mean, look at that. It is so wonderful. And we had so much fun that I'm actually almost out of paint. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of it. So now I really don't have a whole lot of it. So I think uh, Santa Claus needs to bring me some more um, craft paint <laughs> because it's almost all gone. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you about that I'm going to be doing besides using more of my jelly plate is I am going to be taking part in a challenge. Now I'm moving my notebook over here because I had to take notes. <laughs> I've never done a challenge before. And this challenge um, includes using a toilet paper roll and you have to decorate it in this steampunk uh, theme. Well, I've never done steampunk. And, um, I've never, I've never done a challenge. So, um, why not? Let's, you know, throw caution to the wind and let's go for it. So I need to get that done this weekend because it needs to go out in the mail Monday. And the girl that's doing the challenge, her name is Elizabeth Britt, um, from BB's Butterfly. And she's a new YouTuber, just like myself. And like I said, she's posted this challenge and I've decided to give it a try. Um, her videos are really awesome and I will provide a link to her channel, um, in the description below. Um, I hope you stop by. She's really, um, her, her videos are just really great and she's just really, really sweet and, uh, I love it. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I have enough toilet paper rolls. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today, tonight, tomorrow to get it done. Um, that's why my hands are dirty because I've been practicing and playing and looking up steampunk videos and steampunk pictures and just trying to, I mean, I've seen steampunk stuff before, but I've never done it. So this is a whole new experience for me, but so that's what I've been up to, um, working on these jelly prints and getting them ready to put into my journal, um, my vintage junk journal, um, that I make made. Um, so that's it. Uh, it's been a rough week back to work this week after a two week break, um, decided to get a sinus infection or something. I've had a massive headache for probably about four days now. So, um, trying to get that handled, but, Hey, you know what? Today's Halloween. Um, so go out and have fun. Be nice to the kids out there and, uh, just have a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves and, uh, go do something crafty. Thanks. Bye-bye guys.